Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the watchman on the wall, Nikki Pratt. Listen, this is a very urgent, very serious um, ninth hour alarm. I need you guys to um, govern yourselves. Take it seriously. If you come under this alarm warning, uh, please be um, aware of your uh, surroundings. Uh, pray about what I'm going to share with you and ask the Holy Spirit, ask God to, to, to lead you, to, to guide you, and um, to let you know what to do, okay? Uh, this is a ninth hour alarm. This is beware. Domestic violence, family attacks. The Lord is revealing in this hour. This is a ninth hour alarm. Ninth hour. All throughout the Bible, we know that uh, the Lord says a lot as a woman up on travail. When a woman is in travailing in labor pains, the, um, the pain increases. So in this ninth hour, we have increasing pain, increasing pain. And when I say increasing pain, that can be spiritually and naturally, okay? Um, I rebuke and come against such violent attacks. Lord, we renounce this in Jesus' name. We cancel all these attacks. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we know that you can do exceedingly and above all that we can ask or think. Listen, Luke chapter 21, verse 16 says, And ye shall be betrayed by parents and brethren and, brethren, and kinfolks and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And we know all of this is for his name's sake. Whose sake? His name's sake. See, our families will turn against us. Matthew chapter 10, verse 36 says, A man's foes, foes, F-O-E-S, which means enemies, will be that of his own household. Let me expound on this for a moment. I'm a victim of, I don't know, I can't say I'm a victim anymore because I have, um, I'm a survival, survivor, I can't talk tonight, a survivor of uh, domestic violence. So this is really dear to my heart when, and when dealing with this particular topic. So let me just tell you, don't be deceived. If your spouse, if your boyfriend, if someone in your family, they're not acting, the same. They have come against you and shown you in the past that they can harm you any kind of way. Let me tell you, we are in a dark hour where Satan is using his minions. And let me tell you, this evil spirit will fall up on people that is not connected with God. They don't have nothing to do with the Lord. They don't want nothing to do with the Lord. And let me tell you, I have warned about this in, in um, the past. Um, I, you know, the Lord had revealed to me in a dream, I can hear a woman being beaten. And then it wasn't soon after that, that there were stories in the news of women coming up shot at schools and coming up shot at homes and, and being beaten and having their lives taken. But let me just not stop there. This will not just be by um, uh, husband and, and, and uh, domestic violence with wives. We know there are domesticated situations that can happen with family members. It may be your brother, your uncle, your cousin. It could be your own parent. Did, did I not just read? And ye shall be betrayed by both Parents, let me tell you something. If your father or your mother or your brother or someone related to you, they try to kill you, they are betraying you because you of the utmost are their family. But in this dark hour and time, the enemy do not care who you are. Revelation 12.12 12 says, Satan knows that he has but a short time. So he 
wants it. The Satan is only going to use who he knows is going to carry out his plan. He, whoever is not filled with the spirit of the living God, is going to fall prey to when the enemy speaks. Do not listen. If the Lord has put on you strongly to leave that individual, to leave that house, to separate Matthew chapter 25, uh, verse, is it 25? 10. Matthew chapter 10, verse 25 through 39, I think it is, um, where it says, and then in Luke, um, yes, it's Matthew chapter 10, where it talks about um, that there will be uh, mothers against daughters and fathers against sons and mother-in-law against daughter-in-law. Let me tell you, that's all because of the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're walking in light and darkness is around you and that your light has not consumed that darkness, the Bible says, what is darkness with light? With light, do not be yoked with darkness. You have to flee. You have to leave. And the Bible also says, let me give you this warning here. Whoever loves their mother, father, sister, brother, daughter, whomever, more than him is not worthy of him. Let me tell you, I've been separated from my mom, from, from, from a lot of people in my family who do not like me anymore. Okay? They don't want nothing to do with me. They think I'm a Jesus fanatic freak. They can think what they want. But for the sake of the Lord, but let me tell you, if you leave, the Bible also says in the same chapter that if you have to forsake family or, or homes or, or whatever, for the sake of him, oh, your reward in heaven is great. So do not think that you will be doing this in vain, but the utmost importance is this could save your life. The enemy is no respecter of persons. He don't care about who you are. He wants to take you out. And he will, why use somebody on the street? The enemy now will use someone next to you. But why? Because you will trust him because they're your family. Be, be wise as serpents, gentle as doves. Be not ignorant of Satan's devices. This is a warning. I'm telling you, if you are a victim of domestic violence, this is a different this is a different hour. This is a different season we're in. Listen to me. This is a, if you if you are a victim of of um, a, 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 a domestic situation, and your your husband, your boyfriend has been beating you, leave. Remember what I said. Pray first. Don't be afraid. Don't listen to the if. Go out on faith. Leave. If the Lord knows that you, what you're doing, trust me, he will meet you. He says he will never leave you or forsake you. Okay? Um, I love you guys. Stay tuned for the very next video that I have to do. Thanks.